The House of Representatives investigating NNPC Limited Joint Venture from 1990 to 2022 has discovered serious infractions by Shell, who has been claiming capital allowance from the government without CAFA certification from inception. Though Shell pleaded for leniency from the committee, it still went ahead to demand details of Shell's fixed assets at the next sitting. Details in this report. The House of Representatives Committee investigating the NNPC Limited joint venture from 1990 to 2022 has discovered serious infractions in the operations of Shell from its inception. The Shell Petroleum Development Company Limited has been claiming capital allowances from the federal government without having the Certificate of Acceptance on Fixed Assets, CAFA. The committee requested to know if Shell had benefited from capital allowance for which its management answered in the affirmative and consequently drew what condemnation from members of the committee. We are not a company that takes anything statutory and tax uh, for granted. Uh, we are a company that complies fully with the laws of the land. Uh, the specific issue of the certificate issued is one thing, but whether we have done gotten the allowances on the basis of the laws of this country, I can say, Mr. Chairman, that is what we would have done. I know for sure that you don't have CAFA certificate. Yes. You don't have. Because we asked the agency concerned in advance to give us the names of all companies. I have all the companies in Nigeria that have ever obtained CAFA certificate for their properties. There's a statutory requirement for you to enjoy capital allowances in Nigeria, which you do not appear to be aware of having. And that is what is surprising, because it will be on record that SPDC and SNEPCO do not have the requisite certificate for enjoying capital allowances in Nigeria. The MD CEO of Shell Petroleum Company, Osaki Okumbo, then pleaded for leniency. As the committee requested for the company to avail eight of details of all its fixed assets at the next sitting. So if you would allow us, uh, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, allow us to present what we have in this respect. I'm appealing that you withhold judgment uh, pending what uh, we present. Can you give us the, the details of the property that over time you've been claiming capital allowance over. You must have a property on the basis of which capital allowance is claimed. The chairman of the committee, Abubakar Fulata, also gave a ruling on New Cross Exploration and Production Company after grilling the MD Sojay Victor over its joint venture business with the NNPC and why it has not been paying petroleum income tax to the federal government since inception. The committee insisted that the MD make himself available to the panel or risk being declared wanted and produced before the committee by the police in handcuffs before adjourning the proceedings. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.